So if you're writing something CPU heavy and your async task is going to um, pound the CPU, you've got a, you've got a problem. And that problem is that because async is built so much on the idea that you periodically wait for something else, the assumption is that you need to be waiting for something else. You, um, <clears throat> It's cooperative. It's not going to preemptively interrupt you, especially in single-threaded mode. Your program will keep going, will keep going, and all of those other tasks that are sitting waiting don't get called. And so if you do find yourself doing something like a large loop, and you aren't, you don't have a natural place to call some async code that requires an await point. You can always yield now, Tokyo task yield now. And that indicates I would like you to put my process to the back of the execution queue. Um, <clears throat> come back to me when you're ready. If there's anything else in the job in the job queue, they get a chance to run. If there's nothing else in the job queue, well, you go to the back of the queue, but you are the queue, so you're back at the front of the queue. You just keep going. And so yield now is a good way to break up your code if you have something that just is looks like it's going to keep keep going for too long, but it's not always the best way to do it. We'll look at blocking in just a second for how to do that. The last option that's pretty popular is select. The select macro runs multiple futures, and then whichever one finishes first is the answer you get, and the others are cancel. Unlike threads, it's very easy to cancel futures. You can just stop them. Um, Tokyo will make sure that any drop, any dropping that needs to happen to free up your resources will happen. But um, select is great. So we, here we have a function called sleep random. It generates a random number, sleeps for a certain amount of time. When you run the program, it will select one of these at random, tell you which one returned first. Um, <clears throat> Takio will run them all in the background. We're using Takio's sleep rather than system thread sleep to avoid blocking. We'll, we'll be covering that briefly. Um, but this is perfect if, for example, you have multiple channels of data coming in. We'll be talking about that. And you want to make sure that you answer whichever one gives you some data first. If you have a bunch of uh, potential data sources, you don't necessarily know which ones are going to be available, which ones are going to be fastest. You can select on all of them. This is what DNS and NTP does. It sends out a request to all of them, goes with whichever one answers first. All right, so blocking. We've mentioned this word a few times. What does blocking really mean? Blocking means I'm going to be doing something that is going to tie up my, process, my task and prevent other tasks from yielding. It might be high CPU usage. It might be that um, the peripheral I'm talking to, I don't have a nice async way to talk to it. I might be doing something really complicated. 